Good morning. It's my joy to be with you this week for uh, these central moments. We have just experienced an incredible observance of Holy Week here at Central Assembly, beginning with the triumphal entry on Palm Sunday through the crucifixion uh, on what we call Good Friday to the empty tomb and the resurrection on Sunday. Uh, yet, if you'll notice, in that story of Passion Week or Holy Week, uh, there are many additional characters to be found impacting the story, some of them prominent, some of them rather minor. Remember Simon of Cyrene, the bearer of the cross in Matthew 27, 32? How about the uh, penitent thief? on the cross, speaking to Jesus and calling out for salvation. And then, of course, we find even Mary, the mother of Jesus, at the cross, and there are many others. But I must say that the one who captures my attention again and again, and most often, is Peter. His role here in these Holy Week activities is not a glowing one, but he is there all along if even we find him lurking in the shadows. I say he captures my attention again because his calling by Jesus all along, uh, Peter frequently interjects himself in captivating and sometimes very complex ways, often with quite dramatic consequences. This week, we're going to look each day at one of the aspects of the life of the very dramatic Peter. Well, this Passover week in Jerusalem was certainly no exception to the drama around Peter's life. I read an article in preparation for these central moments on the topic of dramatic biblical characters. And wouldn't you know it that Peter was one of the prominent persons mentioned in that uh, article. The author, in fact, even said that uh, Peter would probably find a very successful place on modern television today. He's what we would call a conflicted protagonist. Main characters with internal conflicts and personal conflicts of captivating degree. And these are often key to modern plots and dramas. Well, Peter certainly would qualify for that role. We're introduced to him scripturally as a simple fisherman. We soon begin to notice how very prone he is uh, to the unpredictable, the emotional extremes that we see down through his life. Well, in the action of Holy Week, we witness a bit of his brash bravado. Uh, in Gethsemane, for example, we see him hacking off the ear of a Roman soldier uh, having come to arrest Jesus, only to later uh, hide incognito in fear in the shadows in brash denial. We see Peter walking on water with Jesus uh, and only to ultimately sink uh, in his doubts. Peter, so easy to speak too quickly, act too extremely, step out on a limb and often fall, embarrassed or mortified when it breaks. Well, the very attraction of Peter to us may be that he is such a normal person. He copes daily in the crude, competitive world of Galilean fishermen. And yet Jesus called him out of that and set him apart, bringing that dramatic personality we know as Peter, that disposition of brass presumption right along with him into that calling. Well, perhaps I like Peter so much because in his weaknesses, he is so much like us. Because in his weaknesses, maybe I see myself. And likewise, in his strengths, perhaps I see personal hope and possibility, even aspirations for myself. If you happen to be uh, watching today and you perhaps find yourself caught up in a moment of insecurity, let me remind you of the words of Ron Cannoli 
and a song he introduced many years ago. It goes something like this. If you can use anything, Lord, you can use me. If you can use anything, Lord, you can use me. Take my hands, Lord, and my feet. Touch my heart, Lord, and speak through me. If you can use anything, Lord, you can use me. There is a verse to that song as well that says, After the multitudes heard the words that Jesus said, He took two fish and five loaves, and the multitude was fed. Lord, what I have may not be much, but I know with you it can be multiplied simply by your touch. If you can use anything, Lord, you can use me. Weaknesses, warts and all, a worthy prayer to begin our day and every day. If you can use anything, Lord, you can use me. We pray that prayer together today. You know our personalities, Lord. You know how brash and rash we can often be. You know our weaknesses. You know our dispositions. You know it all. And so, Father, at your altar we bow and we say to you, if you can use anything, Lord, anything I possess, anything I am, you can use me. Amen. Amen.